Hey guys, this is Crawl. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, so I was browsing my my own workshop or my own workshop items uh, today before work, and uh, I realized two things <laughs> as I was going through all of my ships just to check, you know, if the amount of views and uh, just to see, you know, which one was more popular and stuff. I realized that this ship, uh, the Stinger, which is a small fighter ship that I built for a faction I'm working on, some of you might already know all of this. Uh, so when I got to this page, I realized that I forgot to make a video for this ship. But not only that, it's actually the most popular of all the ships I did for this faction, this one has more views and more downloads and even has one person who favorited the ship uh, and this is the only one of my ships that has someone who favorited it so uh, I mean I can't blame you guys for liking this one more than the others because I, I really like this one as well it's pretty much my favorite ship uh, of all the ships I built really proud of this one so uh, but yeah so I was checking the workshop before I left for work uh, which was about maybe I don't know 10 11 hours ago and uh, it was at 36 subscribers I come back from work it's now at 47 subscribers so it's still gaining subscribers like crazy and okay Compared to other people on the workshop, 47 is nothing, but to me, I only started uploading videos, uh, not videos, but um, ships on the workshop maybe a month and a half ago, maybe two months maximum, and uh, this, this is a lot for me. Uh, so, like, 77 views and uh, 47 subscribers, that's more than 50% of the people who see the ship that are downloading it. So, to me, that's, like, crazy good. So, uh, yeah, this, I, I'm just pointing this out um, because, to me, this is a great source of encouragement to continue publishing my work to the workshop and uh, to continue building ships for you guys and to continue posting videos about them uh, also uh, I'm not gonna stay here for too long but this one this one I'm, I'm I wasn't even that satisfied with this one and it does have 18 subscribers so that's pretty good I mean for a ship that even I as the ships creator was not that proud of 18 subscribers so you guys really like my stuff and uh, that's cool for me this one only has seven views and four subscribers so once again it's more than 50% of the people who view it that are actually downloading it but it's been at seven views for a while so I, I don't know um, maybe there's something wrong with this I, I don't know anyways uh, so pretty much all of my ships are getting downloaded by quite a few people uh, yeah 33 right here so this is one I built uh, you know a while ago before I started working on the faction anyways uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys because this is a great source of encouragement for me uh, so the rest of the video is all gonna be about the stinger the one that you guys seem to be loving more than every other ship I built and with good reason it's an awesome ship so uh, yeah considering that I forgot to do a video for this one this will be that video uh, now I'm sure you you've seen it in the video that I made for my um, antlion uh, I featured it you know very quickly in that video uh, you've seen it in the video that I made for my sling right here and probably also the video that I made for my Scarab MK2, which is right here. But I never ever did a video specifically for the ship. So I apologize for that. So, uh, okay, what I can say about this. Uh, when I started 
working on this one, I told myself, I'm going to try something new. Uh, every other small ships I had ever built before that, the cockpit was already always either in the front and then the ship was extending towards the back or the cockpit was somewhere in the middle and then the ship would extend a little bit in the back and a little bit in the front but never like this. So this was definitely something new for me, uh, having the cockpit all the way in the back of the ship. And I really, really like uh, the way it turned out. So uh, this was one of my goals when I started working on it. Also, uh, the reason why it turned out to be so big is because I wanted to use these reloadable rocket launchers. Uh, I did not want the ship to have any other weapons. Uh, reloadable rocket launchers was to be the only weapon on the ship. and. Uh, the thing with these rocket launchers is that they, well, actually, uh, it's the same for large ships. Um, rockets or missile containers, uh, they can only travel through large conveyors. So you cannot use small conveyor pipes if you want your reloadable rocket launchers to work, unless you want to feed them like this just like the, the regular uh, rocket launcher which is uh, this one here this one uh, it can be fed from a uh, cargo container full of rockets for example it doesn't work you need to feed them from the front uh, now the reloadable rocket launcher which is right here this one uh, it can be connected to a cargo container full of rockets and it's, it's just going to feed itself from there. But, like I said, uh, it can only work if you connect them use, using large conveyor pipes. So this is why the ship turned out so big. Uh, as you can see right here, there are large conveyor pipes pretty much everywhere. Now they're red because the ship is turned off. Uh, otherwise the, these lights they would be yellow right now. So, um, yeah, and I wanted the ship to be, like, somewhat long, so, uh, there are more conveyor pipes than, uh, than needed, I guess, but still. Uh, so I guess you guys are probably eager to see it fly, uh, for those of you that do not own the ship yet. So, we'll go and, uh, take it for a spin right now. Okay, I'll show you first person view. Uh, I don't know if you guys can guess this, but, uh, or I don't know if you guys can see it well on the video, uh, but there's a kind of crosshair uh, right in front of me, and this was made using antennas. So I'm just gonna get out of the ship real quick just to uh, show you, give you a closer view. These are actually three antennas, one on the right, one on the left, and one on the bottom, and it, it creates kind of a crosshair and uh, this is the only reason why they're they're actually there I think the ship has an antenna uh, somewhere on the bottom I can't remember exactly where I put it um, might be a bit further back I guess we're gonna be able to see it or find it when uh, when the ship is actually in flight uh, I built this ship uh, a little while ago, so I can't exactly remember where I put it. But anyways, these antennas are not used to broadcast anything, though you could, of course, use them to broadcast. I really just put them there to use as a crosshair uh, to help you aim. So, okay, let's turn on the power. So as you can see the conveyor pipes that are exposed right there, the little lights turn yellow. Then we're going to unlock landing gears and take off. Also as you can see right now, the ship does not damage the surface that it's landing on. Uh, the, the thrusters are not damaging it. So that was one of my goals of course. And. Uh, 
I, I definitely achieved that. <laughs> I can't damage the surface, not while taking off, not while landing. Now, of course, if you're landing too hard, uh, you're, you're just going to break your landing gears as well as the surface you're landing on, but the thrusters are harmless. So, uh, I'm just going to show you the acceleration now. So we're gonna it has a pretty good acceleration so we're gonna and a lot of uh, stopping power as well so if you look on the right side of the screen right now you'll see uh, the speed so you're gonna get a better uh, better idea of the acceleration and we're at top speed so, of course, it's not the fastest ship, and uh, now we're stopped. So, it, like I said, it's not the fastest ship, but it does have a lot of, uh, a lot of thrust. And I think it does have pretty good maneuverability as well. God, I love this skybox. I really apologize. I do not know the name of the person who made it, but dude or girl, you did a really good job with this one. It's awesome. I love it. I use it often to take screenshots for uh, the ships that I publish on the workshop. Look at that. It, it looks amazing. Anyways, so the ship, the Stinger, the one I'm flying, it doesn't just look good, it's really good in flight, it, and uh, since I wanted to publish it and submit it uh, to be added to the game so that you can actually find it while exploring, um, the developers are quite severe and, uh, and they have like very specific requirements so uh, I could not add a bunch of guns and a bunch of rocket launchers on it it has four reloadable rocket launchers on it and uh, that's all it has uh, if I filled up the ship with a bunch of weapons uh, the developers would have not even considered it so uh, uh, I don't even know if they're considering it right now uh, but you know I wanted to uh, I wanted to have a good chance for the ship to be selected to be added to the game so I, I tried to respect their uh, their criterias as much as I can so I did not add too many weapons on it but it's still I mean four uh, rocket launchers you can still do quite a bit of damage if you download this ship and uh, use it to you know to mess around and do some dog fighting with your friends you're gonna have a lot of fun with it sadly 
I don't have any Steam friends who actually play the game, <laughs> so uh, and I don't think I, uh, my computer could actually handle uh, playing in multiplayer, uh, but I, I do have enough money to buy myself a new computer right now, I just need to get in contact with my cousin who's going to build me that new computer. I have the money that I need, so uh, I just need to, uh, you know, set a set a kind of an appointment with my cousin so that we can go out and uh, buy buy the stuff I need and actually build the thing. So as soon as I get my new computer, I'm actually going to start looking for people to uh, help me record videos. Maybe have some people flying ships in the background while I'm recording and uh, maybe even start doing some machinima, I don't know. Uh, it's just something I'm, I'm considering for the future. So, uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about this ship, guys. Uh, I guess I could look at its inventory. Let's see how many cargo containers I put on it. Okay, so it ha it has one medium cargo container. So it's still uh, it, that's reasonable size. I mean, you can stockpile a bunch of things in there. Uh, now, of course, this is a fighter, so it would only you know carry rockets and fuel and stuff like that. Uh, let's see how many reactors. I think it's okay. So three three large reactors so you never have to worry about overloading it's never gonna overload um, okay so it does have four antennas which is exactly what I thought so let's try and find that last antenna that I could not find earlier pretty sure I put it somewhere underneath oh there it is <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find it so uh, yeah, I didn't want this one sticking out anywhere, so that's why it's it's underneath, kind of hidden, right there. So this is the one that would broadcast the name of the ship, and uh, these are only there to act as a crosshair. And uh, speaking of, let's let's try and fly it in first person for a while. Okay. Let's turn this on. Um, okay, so the red ship's right there. As you can see, the red dots are almost perfectly aligned with uh, the middle of the crosshair. It's it's not quite there, but it's almost perfectly aligned. So it definitely helps you uh, to aim. One ship like that on its own, uh, it's a small ship, only has four rocket launchers, and uh, you know, you shoot four times and then it needs to reload, so it takes a few seconds before you can start shooting again. But a ship like the Scarab MK2 has two of these stingers, and if you have a bigger carrier, then you can carry more like this the first scarab I built could actually carry six stingers on top of it so six stingers now you can start doing quite a bit of damage in quite a short time and, uh, the ship does respect the amount of triangles uh, it only has 75,000 triangles and the devs set the limit to 80,000 triangles uh, and the reason for that is because they want their submissions to be performance friendly for older computers so this means that the ship is performance friendly which means that you can fly a lot of these at the same time without reducing your frame rate so uh, you can have a lot of these swarming uh, larger ships at once and uh, it won't mess up your gameplay at all so uh, if you have a lot of these swarming one large ship then I'm pretty sure that you could do quite a bit of damage to it 
so uh, yeah, I, I did mention earlier that I wanted to check the inventory, right? So I put 10 uranium in each reactor, so it's it's survival ready. When you find it, it's gonna have uranium in the reactors. I put 15 missile containers in each one of the reloadable rocket launchers. And uh, is there anything in the cargo? No, there's a, there's nothing in the cargo container. But well, you know what? Hmm. I'm actually gonna update the blueprint. I'm gonna put stuff in the cargo container and I'm gonna leave it uh, as a surprise for you guys. Because I'm surprised that I didn't put anything in there because I did put uh, some, some stuff in the cargo containers of the other ships that I built and I'm gonna leave it uh, for you guys to find. I mean if the devs do add the ships to the game and you do manage to find one while exploring then you're gonna have a bit of a reward for finding it inside the cargo container it's not gonna be anything crazy or anything like big but if you're in a survival game it's definitely gonna help you so uh, I'm gonna put something in a cargo container and uh, you guys can find out what it is uh, when you find it so So I'm gonna end the video here. The uh, video is already getting quite a bit longer than I wanted it to be. So uh, I already know that you guys love the ship, so I'm not gonna say I hope you guys love the ship, <laughs> like I usually say. Uh, so I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for downloading my stuff. It's definitely a good encouragement for me, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.